It's 7.52 a.m. on July 23rd, 2019. These are dreams or visions and dreams I haven't written down yet or from last night. I've written them down, obviously. I haven't read them yet. <laughs> Aloud. Um... 7.42 p.m. on July 22nd. I just got a flash image in my head of me picking out clothes at Buffalo Exchange some time between 2000 and 2004. Mainly just because I didn't really shop at that place much after, say, around 2005. Um, I used to shop spend quite a bit of time out on Hawthorne. Um, follow up thought is Christmas shopping on Hawthorne shops at night. When Brooke's at her dad's not having much money to spend and I write ever, but you know, um, that was kind of like a linked thought and it was, seems like it was a specific night. I was just walking around Hawthorne and it must have been really, I haven't been in Portland very long. So that was sometime before like 2003 that this thought that memory was um I was I remember that particular time okay maybe that's why I was thinking of this I was trying to find Christmas decorations but so what I wanted to have a tree that I was decorated but in order to decorate a tree you have to spend money on stuff and um, I wanted in, I guess I wanted interesting decorations or something. I was picking out these stars, small gold stars from this place that imports, ex yeah, imports stuff from like Indonesia, light, these gold light wooden stars. One of the things, that's the one thing I can't remember buying on that shopping trip. Um, sense of this is well, when I had when I started to write this I had lots of dreams to write so the first are a couple visions right around 740 but right after that then it's 950 not 35 so it's almost two hours later I had a lot but I couldn't remember it as soon as I started to write it so what I wrote was sense of Nazis with something being prescribed it looks like kind of like ideas being prescribed, but I don't know. Something's being prescribed, different, can't read it, and how to weave them into the story. And obviously I had a hard time getting that down, but once I got that down, everything else started to fade away. Sense of a girl who keeps playing dress up. It's really weird, this thing where I will grab the pen and I'll have, you know, fully formed thoughts ready to get down. But by the time I am actually get the pen to the paper, that's the best I can do. Sense of a girl who keeps playing dress up. And then, three minutes later, I couldn't even remember having these, you know, writing these down. Or I couldn't even remember this stuff. So, 9.37. This is all written down. 9. 35, um, 9.37 being heated hotter and hotter. So when I got to the end of this girl who keeps playing dress up and stuff, um, I noticed I was feeling hotter and hotter and hotter. And the same thing had happened to my phone earlier in the day. So after I had made my videos yesterday out in the park, all of a sudden my phone, I was out in the sun, but it started to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Even after I turned it off, it seemed like it was continuing to heat. I pulled out the battery. So, like, maybe it had been heated from an outside source. I measured um, electromagnetic fields. I write 50 to 55. I keep forgetting the measurements. I think that's milligauss near my body, 20 to 40 away from my body. So this was actually all at 9.30 last night. As soon as I got hotter and hotter and hotter, I turned on the um, EMF detector on my phone. 
and notice that there was what was going on at that time. Sometimes the, the EMFs will be elevated everywhere in an ambient way consistently, like everywhere in my vicinity. Other times they vary, like there's a beam sent down where there's high EMFs and then around it, it's lower. And in this case, the beam seemed to be at first right around my body. And my body was higher. And the areas outside of my body, if I held out the thing at arm's length, they were lower. But then after I started measuring it, like there was a switch, like as if they changed the focus of the beam and moved it outside of my body a little bit. Um, that's part of the whole, when you're under this, you know, surveillance and you're trying to even measure the surveillance, this, you know, they can detect that you're measuring it and make changes accordingly. It's 9.46 p.m. when I woke, I would remember all these dreams. Not only have I forgotten them, I can't even remember enough to easily decipher what I wrote 10, even two minutes ago. So I'm talking about this at 9.35. I went back right afterwards, and I couldn't even remember what this was about. I couldn't remember this. I couldn't even couldn't remember writing it. That's how much my memory was wiped. Just in a few minutes' time. And it's not a normal just kind of forgetting of dreams. So, I, I mean, I have written down dreams for decades, and this is unusual. Normally, even if you're going to forget a dream, it fades kind of slowly. If you remember it when you wake up, you'll remember it for a few minutes. This is just like instant fade. The only thing I know is that I had a lot of dreams, but they have been erased and I've been made to feel hot. And then I know my legs started to feel a little bit achy. And um, then I woke up. So the next thing you see is at 4.33 in the morning. That's because I was awake by 10 p.m. Before 10 p.m. Once I got to this point, I couldn't sleep anymore. And so I was awake for several hours. And what I did while I was awake was upload and annotate dreams that I read yesterday. Then I went and laid back down. I'd sort of got, all of a sudden, got sleepy, like all at once. 